I hope beyond hope I'm wrong because, again, I have talked about going to Arrowhead Stadium is a spiritual experience. If you are a sports fan or a football fan, I can't tell you the glee that I used to have driving over the hill and coming down into Arrowhead and seeing a huge plume of barbecue smoke wafting up from Arrowhead and everybody in Derek Thomas and Neil Smith jerseys and Chiefs Zubaz pants and just getting after it. And I just love those Sundays. I cherish those Sundays. But it looks the same. And Thursday night scarred me because I'm sitting at home, and I'm, I'm not a diehard Chiefs fan, and I am just gut-wrenchingly keeled over. And the Bourbon Bell's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, it's happening again. What do you mean? They had a 14-point lead. They're at home. It's a cold December day, and a and a quarterback is going to go down the field and gut them. I've seen this before. And it was like somebody was smashing a glass pane over my head. I'm like, oh, no. No, fourth down. No, defensive holding. No, they didn't cover Mike Williams. No. And I just, my heart goes out to this fan base because I've seen this car wreck before. And I don't want to believe it will be the same way. And yet, Thursday did me in. I said, I have seen those people, those wonderful, tremendous, heartfelt, good Midwestern people that just want to do the right thing. And they always treated me so well and so kind. And I saw the same faces from these people. And they're wearing their chief starter jackets. They got those red Chiefs hats on, those yellow gloves on, and they're clapping, and they want to believe they're clapping, and it's a cold night at Arrowhead Stadium, and then there's a moment that their faces turn ghostly white because they've seen it again. And it happened. And I want to believe it's different this year, and I Thursday broke me. 